Hello and welcome back to Bannerlord. Now, as you can see down in the text log right there, Azurai has declared war against Batania, which I think is actually going to help us out quite a bit. Now, here's the problem. Hello. Yes. Uh, oh, dear. Hello there. Okay, so this is not, not going to work out too well for us, but I have prevented one of my villages from being raided. I think this one has been raided already. Yeah, unfortunately... Uh, I wasn't able to get there in time. I do have quite a lot of units in the garrison here. Are they actually attempting? They are attempting to besiege this. All right. So let me just adjust in my chair real quick because I'm actually quite uh, intrigued as to what I can do against these guys. So I guess I'm going to just go over to my uh, other settlement right here. Just going to recruit some troops real quick. And uh, this is going to be kind of interesting because I... Uh, have never done any kind of defense. Actually, you know what? Uh, I would like to go up here very fast. And I would like to purchase something. Something quite important. And uh, bear in mind that I have a huge amount of crafting materials right here. Yeah, massive amounts of crafting materials. I am thinking about potentially getting a crossbow. Unfortunately, I can't use a crossbow because it requires... 20 crossbow, which I gotta say is very irritating to me at this point, because I personally feel like a crossbow is probably going to be better than a bow at this at this juncture, because 46 piercing damage from a step bow in comparison to the crossbow that does 85, and it has, well, much better accuracy and all that wonderful stuff, but uh, yeah... This might be problematic. Okay, so apart from that, shall we take a look at some of the two-handed weapons? Because that's the thing that I was thinking of using in this siege, because being able to use a two-handed, as, as you can see right here, is probably going to be pretty good for us. 115 length execution axe. Ooh, we are the executioner, are we not? So it might actually make sense for me to have an execution axe. That seems pretty fun. But there are a variety of reasons why I probably shouldn't go for it. Uh, what about the War Razor? Wow, that does so much damage. 111 cutting damage? Yeah, let's buy that. Should we buy that or this one? What's better? Uh, that one's got more length, but it might not be that usable. It is a bastard sword, technically, so you can use it in a two-handed and one-handed fashion so i'm going to use the war razor i guess and we can then put it there and then we can just unequip our um unequip our spear and then we'll equip our step bow and we'll get our step arrows and then we're good all right so i guess that's that's the best i can do um i, I guess that's the best i can do oh wow they're actually gaining even more people oh dear 281. I have how many here? How many do I have? I can't see for some reason. I don't know why it's uh, break in to help the defenders. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so you devised a plan to distract the besiegers so you can rush the fortress gates, expecting the defenders to let you in. You and most of your men may get through, but as many as 41 troops? What? What? Are you serious? 41 troops may be lost? Okay. Hmm. I think we're going to have to think of something right here. And you know what I'm thinking of? I think we have to make a party. Can Kiroslava not... Why is Kiroslava busy? I have no idea why she's busy. I do not want to let Laska go because she is our medic. And everyone else is a caravan person. I guess I could get one of them back. But that is going to reduce our our uh, wages by quite a bit. So it just says up to, right? As many as 41 may be lost. Ah, uh, okay. So after thinking about it for a bit, I personally feel like 41 troops is going to be too much to lose because I literally have 82. That's literally half my army. So I'm going to have to think of something else and I can't get involved in this. I could attack them straight up but I don't think that's going to work out too well either. Hello, Svedorn. Come on, Svedorn, come over here. Um, can I actually make an army right here? This might actually be the only thing that I can do. 
So I think I'm going to try and do that instead because this is maybe the only way that I can even win. Okay, so here we go. I've got 202 influence. Svedorn, Simir, and Siga, and maybe Vishorki as well, might actually be able to help us. So let's actually get all of them to come over here. And how much is that going to cost me? Not that much. Only 78 influence. So I'm, I'm thinking we're pretty good here. And uh, let's get those guys to join me. Okay, so I've got 146. And I don't know where the rest of them are. So I'm just going to... Just going to see what happens. Oh, wow. There's another one. Are you... What? Why did you... Why did you do that, sir? Why? I have no idea why he did this. I'm afraid I have to consider you my enemy. If you ever find yourself in a position to hire warriors, you should consider the Legion of the Betrayed. We know what it means to honor your word and contract, as we have seen the price of breaking faith. You may fight us, but many of your men will be killed, and you will probably lose. Yield and spare us both the unnecessary bloodshed. Uh, well, actually, we are. We'll fight to the last drop of blood. Because this guy is nowhere near powerful enough to deal with us, unless he has some extremely powerful, unique troops, which he might very well have at this point. So, yeah, we are the commander, as you can see. And uh, I'll be able to do all formations during the battle by the looks of things. Oh, okay, so that's good to know. Anyway, let's uh, let's get my horse archers to follow me. Thank you very much. And this is going to be a very easy fight. Or at least I think it's going to be easy. Maybe it's not going to be, and I'll, I will be eating my words. And a huge amount of, well, I could say lead, but there, there aren't any guns. So I will just eat a huge amount of arrows then, I suppose. But anyway, this guy is going to do a lot of damage, maybe. Never mind. Okay, he's dead. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> That was interesting. Okay, so let's get my archers to actually come over here. We're going to try and get them to come relatively close to the trees. Maybe on this hill over here would be good. And then they'll be able to do quite a bit of damage in that position. Okay, so let's tell our people to charge in right here. Let's tell them to charge. And we've got to be very careful about the guys with the spears, as you can see. The guys with the spears are just going to be very, very damaging to any kind of, yeah, any kind of cavalry. Spears are just super good especially when the AI is using them. Not me so much, but when the AI is using them, yes, very much. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, you know? It's one of those things. I did say in, in the previous episode that I was getting a little bit better. Oh, there we go. A little bit better. A little bit better at uh, mounted combat. Because I think you just have to attack from a... Look at that. See? You see that kind of angle? That's the kind of angle that I was talking about. And that seems to be the key to uh, good... Um, good mounted combat obviously there's the thing if you use a two-handed weapon or something with longer reach you're going to have a much easier time of things because with a with a one-handed the reach is very limited and so on and so forth but there you go 3.5 for now not too bad we barely lost anything we lost actually eight hmm it's actually not anticipating losing such a large amount but okay hmm. okay so we can just take all of these that's great and we are still just going to be waiting here because we need to wait for the army's members to actually arrive. Oh, look at this. I'm actually gaining leadership now because we are the leader of an army, which is fantastic. So that's pretty fun. I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. I'm hopeful that they will appear soon because I don't think we'll be able to deal with 284 with just 142. And if we head in there... We're probably going to end up losing even more units. So, yeah, that might be slightly problematic. Let's just go to, over to our party here because someone has leveled up. There we go. Let's get a couple more of these guys. That seems to be it. We do have some looters in here as well. But, yeah, seems like the developers have decided that the allies being able to enter... Oh, dear. Someone actually left... Oh, yeah, that guy left my army. Of course he did. Of course he did. Vashorki does not like us as far as I'm aware. Anyway, the point is is that apparently the developers didn't think that that was very realistic. And as a result, uh, they have changed it so that you can't really go into the castle without sacrificing a lot of units. Which is, I suppose, kind of, uh, kind of to be expected. Oh, hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they thought they thought, eh? They thought that they could get me. Uh, they almost did. They almost did, let me tell you. Okay, 
Yeah, so we're getting Samir here. And whoa, they're actually going in. I would not have I would not have done that. Hello, hello, Tharos. Hello, Tharos. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, well, uh, uh, yes. One of the most illustrious families in the annals of the Empire. The barbarians we have slain and the glory we have won is second to none. Wow, you have a lot of jewels in your, uh, a lot of jewels in your helmet. If you ever want a chance for glory, you might consider fighting for me. One day you can tell your grandchildren that you served under my command. Let's get my people into a decent enough position here. I would like to get them out around about here. These guys can go here, and then we will get Shield War. And I do have my bow. Yeah, that's that's not really going to work out too well, is it? No, that is not really going to work out at all. Okay, well, we've got this. I think we have this in the bag. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have it in the bag. Let's just auto-delegate when these guys get a little bit quicker. Or should we say closer? And then we'll see what happens then. There we go. They're going to hold high ground. That's good. I like to see that. And now I will send my people in, my cavalry in, to take out these archers. Because, of course, we will do that. And hopefully I will be able to kill a couple myself. <laughs> ah, the, the mounted combat, everyone. Yeah, on the one hand, I think I'm actually decent at it. And on the other hand, I feel like I'm terrible. So... Sometimes it just feels really natural and fun to fight on horseback, and other times it feels like it is the most clunky thing ever, so I'm not entirely sure which one it is. Personally, I feel like it's probably the previous. It probably is a lot of fun, but I just have to get used to it. As you can see, I'm hitting them very easily now, but that is only because they're running. Maybe, uh, maybe not that one. But yeah, we absolutely stomped this guy into the ground and... This should be very easy for us to finish up. I'm actually going to get out my bow here. Really? What? What? What, what, what is actually going on here? Okay. Cannot actually believe that I missed every single one of those shots. But uh, I guess you can by now. I mean, you know me. Oh, there we go. We actually... Oh, no. We hit the horse. Great. Very nice. Okay, and that's the thing I hit. Are you serious? The moving shot to the left, really. The hardest shot that I could have made, I actually made. <sighs> I guess it's just luck, really. Uh, this is also the reason why I'm not a big fan of the whole bow thing. I do like crossbows in Bannerlord, but I think bows are probably not my thing. But maybe, maybe they will be. Maybe I just need to increase my proficiency in them a little bit. I do have a pretty decent amount of control stat. So it might make sense for me to spec into it a little bit more. Well, whatever the case, we've defeated a very large opponent. And, ooh, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of horses. This is going to make me extremely fast on the battlefield now. Very, very fast. And what is actually going on here? Hmm. I... <laughs> what is what is Ragnvad doing? Because he's not actually fighting as far as I'm aware. No, he was just leaving Samir to get murdered. Well, I guess what that means is I'm actually going to go into the castle before they besiege it. And they are now attacking one of my villages. But that is to be expected. I can't really do much about that, unfortunately. So I suppose I will just have to leave it the way it is. And uh, then that's that's just it. That's it. So I'm going to put all of my prisoners in the garrison here. As you can see, we actually have a huge amount. And I am going to be putting them into the nearby uh, town. But obviously I would like to just wait here for some time and just see exactly what is going to happen. So Tharos is actually... What? I, I didn't take Tharos prisoner, did I? But he's actually here. Why? Why is Why, why can I speak to him? He's in the dungeon. I did take him prisoner? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. In... Wait a minute. Where is he? Wait a minute. I'm looking at the garrison. Idiot. Idiot. Don't... don't no, don't, don't say it. Don't say it. Okay, so, yeah. We're just going to get these two out of here. And we're going to say goodbye. Because you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do. And, uh... 
actually, you know what? I'm going to execute Tharos because he's actually kind of dangerous. We're going to execute him and I will give Krotor to the nearby town. And we'll see how much influence it actually gives us because it might very well be useful to do that. So let's have a look. Uh, where do I need to go? Okay, I need to go here, go to the dungeon, donate prisoners, and then we'll just do that, and then we'll see how much we actually get. One. One influence? One influence? Really? Really? Are you serious right now? That, that, what? what? Everyone, everyone was saying to me, hey, you should probably give lords to the, to the dungeon because you'll get a huge amount of influence, and I just gained one. So that is not exactly great, got to say that. Probably would have been better to execute the guy, but I suppose he is now in captivity, I guess. And Seeger is now here, thankfully, so we now have 195, which is actually quite good. And maybe if Ragnvad actually could pull himself together. Hey, Ragnvad, hey, hey, come over here. I'm actually going to try and get him to join my army if I can do that. Can I manage it? There we go. Okay, so let's sit, have a look. No, I don't think I can order him. Yes, you cannot invite the ruler's party to your army. Well, that would be quite powerful, wouldn't it? So that's not going to work, unfortunately. But our cohesion is actually pretty good, as you can see. So not too bad, but um, are they actually going to try and take this town? Uh, they're fighting Svana. How much does she have? One. Okay, I will not be fighting, uh, fighting those guys then. I'm going to be kind of intrigued to see what they decide to do. Okay, so, uh, uh, hello, hello. Okay, we're going to have to head over here and see what we can do and help them. Okay, let's go and help uh, whoever this is. Who is this? I have no idea who this is. Oh, it's Ragnvad himself. All right, let's go and help him, shall we? All right, this is good. Very nice indeed. 258 against 84. I personally feel like um, the main thing that we have to consider in Bannerlord is the fact that um, outnumbering your opponent is usually really very required, especially on higher difficulties at least. Maybe not so much on lower difficulties, but th that doesn't really matter. Personally, I have always said time and time again, whatever you have fun playing with, that is what you should be doing. So, you know, don't, don't, yeah, I mean, a lot of people have actually said that to me as well, because obviously I had some, some, you know, a little bit of struggling in the first half of uh, this, uh, this series. And that's the point. I personally feel like the whole drama surrounding, you know, struggling for success, reaching for the sky, you know, reaching for greater heights is part of the journey. And I personally feel like that makes it just that much more fun. But maybe that's just me. Maybe that's that's how I feel. But, well, the point is, is that uh, hopefully we're now on the road to riches, so to speak. And uh, we'll see if we can maybe do something here. Oh, there we go. Nice 92 damage. That's pretty good. You know, that's okay. Not too bad. 48. Maybe I can do a little bit more. There we go. Take out the Imperial Archer. And uh, personally, I feel like what the developers have done, by the way is they have made cavalry harder to play versus infantry, but they've made them easier to play against other cavalry. At least that's what that, that's my feeling on it, at least. Because when you're... I mean, look at this. You, you can see that I'm having... I mean, me personally having difficulties fighting something. That's not a surprise. But the, the, what, what is the surprise is actually me doing well in mount versus mount combat. Because mount versus mount combat, I am terrible at in warband. Let me just tell you, I'm terrible at that. But I'm pretty good. I I gotta say, I think I'm 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 decent, should we say, at mount versus infantry combat. Because that's how it is usually. You know, mount versus infantry. Usually the mount or the cavalry unit should usually have the advantage in all all aspects of that particular engagement. And that might have changed a little bit in Bannerlord. It seems like to me, unless you're, uh, uh, maybe uh, unless you're like really good at the combat in general, it's, in my opinion, seemingly uh, swaying towards the other side of things a little bit. So it's making it a little bit more balanced, a little bit less one-sided towards the cavalry and a little bit more 
in depth when it comes to the other the other things going on there. So let's see if we can... That guy's just going to run away. Of course he is. Okay, so Misui is actually still around here. Ah, they're actually besieging this now. Okay, so we have 194. Ragonvad, can you attack over here, please? Yes? Yeah? Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's do this. All right. Now then, come no closer. Forgive me, but one cannot be too cautious. I would ask you for your name. My name is Barney, dyer of everything. There we go. Yes, uh, I heard you may have need for some with some problem. Yes, I'm not going to not going to ask him about that. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's uh, let's just attack him. And I'm gonna level up my forces before we head in, or I can't do that actually. All right, so it's 224 against uh, uh, 244, I think. Yeah, I literally just saw the numbers and then I thought to myself, let me just forget those real quick. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Okay, well, let's place my forces round about here. I would like to get the high ground if at all possible. Maybe I can go over here instead, actually. Uh, wait a minute, where, where are the archers going? Okay, so I'm just going to auto-delegate the infantry for the moment, and I'm going to tell the horse archers to follow me, because, of course, the thing is, I don't want to let our infantry, or shall we say, our archers go in by themselves, and my infantry is nowhere to be found. I would like to try and prevent any kind of huge upset from happening here, because, let's face it, we really don't want that to happen. Okay, so... Let's do, uh, should we do auto-delegate for all of them? No, I don't think that's actually necessary. So, I think we're pretty good with the way it is. And here come my horse archers, that's fine. I'm actually going to tell my horse archers to charge in a little bit so that they can engage some of the enemy's horse archers for the moment. And then we will pull them back if we need to. Seems like we uh, are up against mercenary cavalry. Maybe some of them are mercenaries that have been recruited for this purpose. Uh, mount versus mount combat. There we go. There's a little bit of damage. But obviously he's wearing some pretty decent armor, so I'm not going to do that much to him. So we're going to tell the horse archers to follow me now after a wonderful, wonderful success of my attacks, as you can see. <laughs> uh, really. Okay, so my people are actually now going straight on in there against the opponent. So let's see if we can maybe help out a little bit. Wow, this is just an insane bloodbath of damage just going on here, isn't it? Wow, okay, that's a huge amount of damage being taken right here. And I am going to hopefully continue to get some kills. And I'm actually unsure what is what is really going on here because as you can see by the top bar, we're having some issues. The bodies, do you see how many bodies there are? Wow, okay. That's pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah. There's a very, very specific angle that you've got to attack from in this kind of situation. There we go. There's the angle that I'm talking about. Okay, I've got a bow. So, might as well use it. Right? Oh, I see. Uh, is this is it is this balanced? Is this balanced right now? Because I know a lot of people have said that horse archery is super powerful, and uh, I'm actually unsure what's going on with this because this seems imbalanced, like no one's business. 
I mean, I can just get a headshot right there, and then he's dead. I can get another headshot, and he's dead, and that's literally it. Wow. Uh, that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of interesting. I guess um, I guess if you want an easy time, go for horse archery. That's <laughs> that's all that I can really say about that because, well, I'm. I mean, you can see that uh, I'm not particularly good at that. Okay, so I do have some archers. The archers have hung back for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why they've done that. Let's see if I can do a little bit of damage. Ah, uh, oh no. Okay, where are my archers, by the way? I have no idea. Can I tell my archers to charge in? I would hope that they would actually come and assist me. Ow, okay. Yeah, there wasn't much I could do about that, unfortunately. I really thought that we were going to be in for a uh, pretty decent victory there, but maybe my archers can actually do something. Can I command them while I'm dead? No, I cannot issue orders while dead. That is actually unfortunate. Uh, what are my archers currently doing? Winning? Are they? Are they winning? Because <laughs> as you can see... There are 20, uh, yeah, 27 cavalry still remaining. We have 30 archers on the field right now. We might very well do quite, quite nicely here. 19 cavalry, 26, 25 archers, 5 archers of the enemies, 23 of ours, 11, 11 spearmen actually now. And I think we might actually win. Do I have the ability to actually uh, go into one of my troops, by the way, in this? I don't think so. I think that's that's only a multiplayer thing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pressing F and I'm pressing uh, E, and that doesn't seem to make any difference, but let's have a look here. We've got seven, and they've got two. I believe that is indeed a victory. Is, is that a victory? Wait a minute. They don't have two. They have more than two. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. Shoot at them. Yes. Yes. There we go. There's a kill. There's a kill. That was an Imperial Elite Cataphract unit. All right. Vlandian Banner Knight. Got to take out one of those guys. Thank you. Okay. Come on, guys. You can do this. But can they? That's the point. Can they? Oh, nice hit. Nice hit. And he's dead. Okay. So now you just have to deal with these last two cavalry. And hopefully... That will be it. We do have a crossbowman. And come on, don't let him... Don't, oh, we've actually got a whole bunch. We've actually got quite a few uh, quite a few archers. Joron is actually still here. He's still alive. And they've killed the Vlandian Banner Knight. Joron is the last cavalry still remaining right here. And look at the amount of damage done. Look at this. Absolutely insane. And I'm actually going to see if, uh, if those bodies are actually still... The bodies are actually still here. Wow. Look at this. Look at that. I can't believe that we actually won that. That is an insane victory. And we only got 8.8 .8 renown for that? Wow. Okay. Uh, no idea why, we'd lo why we didn't... Uh, Whew. Okay, so I lost 27, which is to be expected. I lost six Sturgeon recruits, which is not really a big deal, and the rest of them can be replaced relatively easily, so that is not a big deal whatsoever. So let's have a look and see what the kind of aftermath we have to face here. I just literally... Did you see how much I plundered right there? I plundered 79,000 gold. Yeah, if only I could buy the better armor, because I have installed the mod that uh, supposedly unlocks the multiplayer armor for the single player because it was actually only tagged as multiplayer beforehand but anyway the point is is that i have done that and i'm still unable to see any of the more advanced armor maybe i have to go as i said before to another another faction and that might actually make sense but anyway let's take a see here oh no actually there isn't any more okay i actually thought that we, we were going to get some more people to take prisoner but apparently that is not the case so we will be taking all of this as well. There we go. Thank you. Whew. Okay, now that was that was very, very tough. And I'm perfectly happy to disband our army now. 
I think we have done a great job. So we will disband the army. And boom. Done. They can they can go and uh, do whatever they want to do. And uh, oh look there's actually someone else over there. Hopefully he's going to get picked on by this guy. And uh, what I need to do as well is I need to go into my, my prisoners very very quickly. And where's where is he? Where's where's Joron? Where's Joron? He's not there anymore. Is it because I had not enough? Or maybe he's gone with someone else. He might have actually gone with someone else. Uh, which would make sense, I guess. I'm gonna just have a look here. Mm, no, he's not. He's not with anyone, and he's not with me. So where did he go? I'm hopeful that he is eliminated completely, but I somehow doubt it. Hmm. That's a bit worrying. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's take a look at some of the armor here, because maybe some of the armor is going to be super good. I am maybe hoping against hope right here, because, well, we've seen most of the armor, and it is not the greatest thing ever, so... Maybe the developers will unlock that uh, a little bit later on. Because personally, I don't think it's meant to be this way. Uh, so Lamella Plate Gauntlets can be a little bit of an upgrade for Laska here. And nothing much else. Oh, this is, this is good for her. There we go. Uh, I think that's going to be it. I think that is actually going to be it. That th that's it, really. Nine thousand worth of of armor, and and that's it. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> All right. So yeah, now we're just going to recruit some people. I still have fifty nine, by the way, in my army. It's just the fact that forty five of them are currently wounded, which is hilarious. But anyway, let's go into the dungeon. Donate some prisoners. Crotor is actually still here. I actually wonder whether he's going to give me. Uh, influence every day or something like that well anyway let's uh, get rid of all of these i don't see anyone here yeah i don't see anyone there i don't know where joron went it must be because i had uh, too many too many prisoners that must be the reason so my bad my bad about that but i guess it's not really a big deal so much because well we we eliminated him and that's the that's the best thing that we could have done but it would have been good to uh execute him you know barney style anyway that's going to be it for this episode i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time